there is a further building which is the home of the Royal Aeronautical Society and uh, he, he, he wanted to found uh, an aeronautical society that finally got royal approval but in fact it didn't happen in his, in his life, lifetime and again um, we've got there the tribute to Cayley as the father of aeronautics uh, uh, born in Scarborough and finally uh, in this section we have the church where um, the ghost of Sir George Cayley does a wee bit of haunting or so the story goes. Now what are we really talking about um, tonight? We're talking about aerodynamics and, and what he calls it aerial navigation. And in 1799, still a very, very young man, he produced a, a, a tremendous picture, a simple picture, but a tremendous picture on what flight depended on. Well, um, the, the, um, uh, we've got a man there with, 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 with a couple of things that really are kind of over, and they're, they're the control system in this, in this aircraft. And then above him is this thing here, and that, that, uh, what is above him is, is um, uh, the wing, which became crucial in the whole process. So that what, what the objective of this whole element is, that if you have air going past at some velocity, this will cause uh, a, 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 a drag on the uh, aerofoil section. Uh, and under those circumstances, that a balancing act would be done, uh, on the one hand in the, in the vertical sense, and on the other hand in the horizontal sense. Now, this is the, the first step that he took. All of those who can actually work a sine or a cosine uh, do, do very well here. Uh, here is, the, is my wind. My, my wind is, is, is roaring onto this plate. And this first work he did in aerodynamics was to say, look, Everything produces a, 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 a lifting process, if you, a, a, anything like that does. Uh, and un, under those circumstances, what you've got to do is to uh, resolve the, the two forces on the system. One is a drag force, and the other is uh, a, 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 a lifting force. And if you uh, analyze the thing together, these two things together, you get, in fact, an immediate improvement of all these people who had been trying to imitate birds up till, up till that point. Um, and now, he did, however, have, he did, however, have a, something going on at the back here, and what that something was, was a control system. What, what goes on over in the right hand side here uh, and, and over where, where the, 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 the wing is that this wing has a center of gravity uh, on the other hand uh, that also there is a, um, a, an upward pressure on this thing here and so the, the uh, center of pressure tends to move around and somehow or other you've got to get the speed, the, the gravity center and the power center of, of, the, of the wind. The, the, they've got to sort of, that's the center of pressure. They've got to be reasonably compatible, otherwise there would be enough stability in the system. And so the, this bit at the back here, um, oh, sorry. Uh, this, 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 this bit at the back here, I'm having difficulty with my... Is to put this bit at the back here, there are two things. There also are things here which are tugged by this. These are flatters here. But no, no, um, good, good, good flapping going on. Here we've got controlling. Here is my uh, wing, which is going to give control of flight. And this is the payload out of the whole system. And that's what he, he, he wrote down. And um, reiterate it again here. That's a nice story, but does it sort of really stand up? And the answer is, well, we can actually do experiments. And, and the experiment is done 
uh, in E team 4 or just before it. Uh, and this is a thing called a puddling arm. And the puddling arm is connected to a pulley. Oops. The, 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 the puddling arm is on a pulley, and uh, which falls with, with gravity, and one gets up to a certain velocity there. Then I have this puddling arm here that can rotate, and the puddling arm is, is there, and what we want to know is what the drag is and also what the lift is on that entity. Uh, and what we have on the other side here is a balancing weight. And the balancing weight is uh, such that you get all of this part here horizontal and mainly, mainly horizontal, and you can do little sums then to determine what the drag is, what the net force of the passing here is on this entity here. So there is the puddling arm, and that was in the beginning of the 19th century tell what the fuck was going on. But amazingly uh, th th this works very, very well indeed. But they've got to be jolly skilled at it. We've got one of these things in the physics department from the University of York and to get really good quantitative data ain't easy. Now, what are we doing here? Well, we're doing much the same um, we're doing much the same. Um, as in a, a modern uh, system, what we're getting out of our puddling arm is uh, the same data of, of, of drag and lift that uh, Kaylee wanted. And we've got air pouring backwards there. And there's my aerofoil, a more sophisticated sample than the plate that I was showing you uh, a minute or two ago. The two things are happening. Uh, over on the, the, the right-hand side, um, up, up here, there's a thing called a pitot tube, which samples the air and the pressure difference between the air in two positions there. And this tells you uh, what is going on in the, in, in, in the system from the point of view of the, the velocity. And then here we've had this here moving up and down. And I'm afraid I'm not actually looking very much. This is the spot that you know, this, this should be. A, uh, there we are. I'm afraid it's terribly visible. Here, there we are. It's gone down to zero, up, up to a high velocity, and then come down to zero again. There we go, going up, that's high velocity, and the, well, this is the, dis, the discovery that the drag and the, it turns out the lift forces as well, depend on speed of the, of the sample. And this gives you the same kind of data as the normal uh, situation. So, Um, so, what have we got? We've got our wind tunnel and how it relates to the uh, uh, rotating arm. The, 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 the movements of the air are relative. It's just the energy, it's the rate difference that this is a regular thing. So it doesn't matter which side of the air flow. And, 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 uh, of course, if you, if you, 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 you could turn the whole thing around and that would be uh, okay. Very important number, the drag in the system turns out to be proportional to the square of the speed. That was something that was demonstrated by uh, Cayley. Uh, the lift, of course, was then counteracting the weight and the, uh, have, we have the drag is in there and it's in opposition to the repulsion in, in, in the system that the, the body is receiving from the moving air. And of course, it's very high angles of attack of the air on this. You actually get stall, and under those circumstances, at higher angles, you can actually get a collapse in the system. Now, here we go again. A second important effect, and that is, all right, the 
drag has been proportional to the velocity, but the lift is also proportional say, to the lift velocity to the velocity squared. And we have the possibility of comparing experiments in which the velocity is different and the uh, area of the sample is different. Uh, and you can, as long as you know the V and, 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 and the area, as long as you know those two things, you can scale one experiment to another experiment very, very easily. Uh, and uh, that, that, that's what one did. And the, so what you get is a thing called the lift coefficient. And this lift coefficient uh, has the same kind of characteristics as, as the drag. And you get a drag which is going as the velocity squared. And you can get out of this a drag coefficient and a lift coefficient. And these tell really about the quality of the surface from the point of view of handling with these two perturbations. And both the drag coefficient and the, uh, the, the um, lift coefficient, both of those are, have this velocity dependence and have this wing area dependence. Here is some interesting data. Up on the left is the coefficient of lift, which tells you how good the system is at a uh, at lift, uh, at the contribution of, of, of lift to a body. The bigger the lift coefficient for a given perturbation of the system, the more that you'll get. What you're getting there is a straight line, uh, almost, uh, and the X's and the O's are two different experiments by Cayley, and <coughs> the X's are one velocity, the U and the zeros are other velocities, and these have been uh, re reorganized because of the, of, of the different uh, velocities and the different areas, and there uh, are the set of experimental points. But then, in addition to this, we have a very distinguished person called Light Log von Kahn, who actually has got a theory for the experiment that was done with these aerofoils, and the answer is uh, quite a remarkably good fit to the, the, the Cayley data. This then looks and um, we've got to look now at the uh, lift and the drag characteristics. And what comes out of this is there's a lift coefficient varying maybe from 0.1 to 0.7. There's a drag coefficient of maybe 0.2 and 0.3. And what you want for a good flight, or one of the things you want for a good flight, is you will have a lift over drag. And you want the lift to be a good thing, the drag is a bad thing. So you want lift over drag to be as big as possible. Well, in the experiments that were done by Cayley at that stage, lift over drag was in the region of three. And that's not terribly good news. But on the other hand, it actually does experimentally fit the data of this process. So we are getting some progress along, along the way. Um, there we now have the important discovery of uh, Cayley that uh, shape is also important in determining the drag. Here is uh, an interesting experimental, no, it's not an experimental observation, but it's, a, it's an observation. The position of least resistance, what's the shape for the least of resistance? He didn't go to his physics, he went to his biological friends. The least resistance was a well-fed trout. And you can take the well-fed trout, and you go and you employ von Karman, and zeros are uh, Cayley, and the bits in between are, are, are Cayley as well. So those, those two things are in absolutely astonishingly good shape, and that was achieved by the, 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 the experiments that, 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 that Cayley did. So we see how lift and drag work. Then, however, we, the thing that you actually have got to get going in the system is that stability and control. And that's going to be associated with the end bit of the funny picture of the man and his whatever it is. So there we are. Uh, here is the what emerged in, in the system in the early part of the 19th century. It, in 04, this one. And here we have our Sal Wing 
here. And our weighing will have any weight distribution, and there is the gravitational force, the, the, the gravitational center of, of, of things. Uh, we then, from, from the following army experiments, know that we need to have some weight to, to balance out so that the uh, power center and the uh, gravitational center uh, are in, in harmony. And over here, you've got the ability either to leave at some angle and, and, and move the other thing or, or, or whatever. But you can you can adjust this thing around here to give control of your system, otherwise it will go a little little set. So and there's just a reminder there. And the, 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 the final element of it all is propulsion. And there we are, this man is twanging things there and these things are going back and forth and giving energy which can be converted into, into flight. Um, last thing, or not quite the last thing, propulsion. What are we going to do for propulsion? Well, how do you get propulsion in anything, really? You, um, you uh, have steam or... Uh, now, they, nowadays we have the sun uh, and so on and so forth. Well, in, in the early part of the 19th century, uh, the, the only promising thing was gunpowder. So people were going to think about having a gunpowder engine in this. Uh, and, and well, um, what do we have then? This is a mock-up of the uh, sort of experiment you might have. This is never actually built. Um, but it's a, a recent attempt at, at describing what is in the spirit of the system at this time. And th this here is a steam engine of some sort. And here we have the wing, which will behave in, 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 in a decent way, with both lift and drag. Here we have uh, flapping uh, things there. And when the hope would be that in this case you actually get a vertical uh, movement with the uh, lift being considerably greater than the, 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 than the drag. So now, if we built one of those, we know it will actually look like. Uh, no, 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 sorry, this one's this one's coming in the wrong place. Um, the uh, this this uh, this. Um, here I've got, this is the lift, the weight of the body divided by the, the horsepower of the body. And you can see there's a pretty huge range here going from one to a thousand. You can go, and I've lost him in the mean, oh, the Wright brothers, there's the Wright brothers there. They're down at ten. And you're going to go up 400 in this category, sorry, 40 in this category, going from ten to 400. You, so it's, it's a factor of 40 of an improvement is need for the bright, for the, for the, for the right brothers to get up with things like rockets and so on from, from that. <coughs> so a long way to go to get, to get flight on that front. Then we have structure. What's the problem with structure? Well, what we need, we know what we need among the other things, is we need loads of area. The bigger the area, the bigger the, uh, um, the, 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 the bigger the upward force, and all will be better. But you can't build an infinite system, I'm afraid. Uh, and this here, uh, here is Kaley's flying machine, and he set this thing up. And these are long bits of wood which are hollowed in the middle. He's managed to choose this special wood for the job. And here we have, this is my wing bit here, and it's as light as you can possibly do under those circumstances. Here are the control bits. Uh, this is a two bit, one bit, and another bit there. Uh, and th that's then going to be the last ingredient of, 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 of what, we, what we have. Now, once we had got this far, what did we have? We had the lift and the drag, we had propulsion, we had stability, uh, we, had, we had power, see? Um, well, 
in about 1909. He wrote it all up in a thing called the Nicholson's Journal. And uh, this was a Bible for flying. And he did produce uh, systems that actually flew quite significant distances. But, of course, what we had to do is we had to have the weight smaller than the lift in the, in the system. Uh, and it, you could get, you know, little things could go a lot, quite long distances and would be fine and so on. But the objective of things, they would like to have a man-made flight. That's the objective of the whole enterprise. And the answer is, all the things I've described so far have failed to manage to do that. The various things have to be improved to, to, to achieve this. A, a man carrying, could have been a woman carrying, but a man carrying um, a, 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 a experiment. And there's got to then be a, a remarkable movement in time. And we go really from about 1909. Little things were done for the, in the next week while even things in balloons were done. And uh, then we came, and very different things happened in 1843, which I'll tell you about in a moment. And that didn't you say he, he, he was sitting in his estate with his, with his feet up. No, he was doing lots and lots of things, and I'll tell you briefly about them. He, he designed an artificial hand. Um, because one of his workers on the estate um, hand got cut off in an experiment, and he did this artificial hand specially for his his uh, his, his, his own man. Uh, and it turned out actually it was too complicated, and the 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 the, the, um, uh, the, the man preferred a kind of simple cork hand or something like this. But well, that's the way life goes. You can't win them all. Um, <laughs> Attention wheel. Hands up those with bicycles. Oh, well, that's good, yes. Well, you depend crucially on Sir George Cayley. He invented the tension wheel of the, uh, of the bicycle. And it really is quite a success. <laughs> that's a big point. Uh, caterpillar tractor. Yes, you can have one of those now. Uh, thank you to Sir George Keeley. He got into the railway business and he had an automatic brake is one of the um, important things. Uh, a block signalling system, again, something for safety purposes. Drainage, he made a huge job of draining the land that he owned above Scarborough. And uh, th th that was a, a very huge effort to put into that. There we are. All of a sudden, we had an interesting rival. The interesting rival <coughs> was by name of Henson. And Henson had read Cayley's papers of 89. So, you know, this wasn't a, a, a blind or a deaf person or coming along. He had read them and, and, and so on. Um, and then you can actually see uh, what, what he's done. I mean, there's a good old, very, very, very large wingspan. Uh, you, you can't actually see all the, the details, of, but you can, you can see that the, the back bit, there's a control bit there. Um, the, oh, sorry, the boiler, the, the boiler is, is, is in, in there somewhere, having those. And the answer is, did it fly? No, no, it never got built. Um, uh, and Henson wrote to, uh, Ed, to, to Keeley, and Keeley didn't actually come back very tight, but very, very um, politely, because he said, you know, it, it's, it fails in the two things that I told you that it was failing. One, you can't get per propulsion, which is light enough in weight, to get into this game of, of weight being less than than, than, than lift. And then, secondly, you want loads and loads of air, loads and loads and loads of um, area of, of weight. 
And that's fine. The point you've got to remember is this thing has got to stay stable in all sorts of windy situations of one sort or another, and it wouldn't really go. So that was the, the sort of rather impasse of, of, of this. But what it did, it had lit Cayley up, and he was just rampant. Uh, and among the things he did was to have a, a converter plane, and this was uh, something which had this nice rotating configuration that drove you vertically off ground, and then you could move around the various bits of propulsion and uh, various bits of propulsion and, and control in the back here. Very, that's very nice, but, but I mean, Cayley was just as bad as Henson because it just never got bit, it never got built. But, but nevertheless, ideas, as I say, were absolutely pouring along there. Uh, can you ever think of any converter planes that we've seen recently? What's it closest to? A helicopter. Uh -huh. What? It looks like a helicopter. A helicopter. A helicopter? A helicopter? Yeah. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, it is, is helicopter-ish. Um, but the, 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 the Harry object is really the, 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 the closest thing. So there we are, we are there. Um, this, is, this is what it would look like flying. All these well dressed gentlemen, not better than us today. Uh, other ideas. I told you about the worry over you want a great big wing area, but the whole thing would just fall off, you know, if you made it too big because of the weight problems in the, in the whole system. Well, this is a tri plane that we've got here. Uh, and we have, well, there, there's our, our boat down there. That's the payoff load down there. And um, then we have the other, other levels up here. Now, this could have the same area as uh, a single wing aircraft in inverted commerce, but uh, that single wing uh, would be subject to rather easy breakage. Uh, so we do have all of these things going on, and we are still got this waggling about here, which, which we were not too happy about, but th 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 that was key. He didn't like propellers terribly much, but yeah, and again, he, he couldn't produce enough power by this sort of mechanism here. And then the two the bottom bit and the bottom, top bit and the bottom bit, they both have navigation kind of, of things uh, and both have lift and dragish sort of uh, facilities within them to, to stabilize, to stabilize the fright. Well, this one never really got off the ground. That's not perhaps true. The, the, the rumor was that a 10 year old boy ran with it and it soared to a full eight feet, um, but not quite enough for us. Of all of these designs, probably the, uh, and I'm sorry this isn't showing up too well, but we can get something in the other. Uh, and, uh, there we are. Um, there's my good old payload in here, there's my great big wing in here, and again we've got separate stabilizing devices and directional de de devices in this region here. Now, that is the thing called the 1852 paper, now a very old man to, to, to do these, these things. Uh, what did that design look like? What's it going to look like in practice? Well, things have changed quite a bit. The game is we've got to get our lift big enough relative to the weight to produce flight. Now, by looking at streamlining things and lightening them a bit and this and that and whatever, we have gone from a, something like a ratio of the order of 8 to 1, which is more like sort of 3 to 1, which one was getting in 1884. So what can we say? Well, we're in with a chance. Uh, you then, we, we know that the lift will depend on angle, and the, 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 the answer is Above seven degrees, if you've got your, if you've got your uh, wing oriented to the air coming in at about seven degrees, then you're in with a chance of, 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 of flying. Go too much, you will uh, ha have a terrible thing happen to you, uh, you'll stall, and less, you won't be able to do it. So we're looking for something a bit more than seven degrees, and we're uh, 
uh, hoping that we could get something to find out. It is known fairly well that the, his, two of his nieces saw a flight of a device like this in the early 1850s. Now, there is controversy over whether it was really good enough to fly. And the uh, initiative was taken by Anglia Television to uh, not only look at this design, which seemed possible, but to actually see if it, it would fly in practice. And that's the thing we're going to look at now. That's what it's going to look at now. You can see payload. Ah, you know, our bicycle wheels are there. They'll be slowly tested, you can assure you, in due time. There's your kind of wing sort of thing away up there. The, 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 there will be a back bit there, which we don't see terribly well, and we really need that back bit to, to, to get stability and so on. So anyway, we're going to, we're going to or oh, Anglia Television decided they were going to build this thing, which is consistent, it wasn't identical to the 1852 machine that was, that, that is that, but uh, we'll, we'll see what we get. Excuse me. And there we go. Now there is a difference from what we were doing before. We were being moving around relatively slowly and see what happens. Now this is cheating here. This, this is actually being pulled by a motor car. <laughs> and and Kaylee did not possess a motor car. In fact, this is ideal for, for Volvo. They've got a Volvo here. So. There we are. Well, he's not really getting off the ground, I'm afraid. And <laughs> the faster he goes, the more chance he has of getting off the, the, the ground. <laughs> and this is, again, a triangle of just almost flying really there. And down he goes. Excuse me, did they ever try it with a train? With a what? With a, with a train. A railway train. Uh, well, a, a railway train is incredibly heavy. So uh, no, I mean, the, a, I mean pulling it with a railway train. Oh, pulling it, they could have, but well, you'll see in due time what they do do. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, where are we going? Oh, yes. Oh, oh. oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> well, they flew, or well, I don't know when that one came down, but my God, your bicycle wheel did a marvelous job. <laughs> Absolutely, first class. And there we are, good wheels. And there we are, now there's your Volvo, definitely. 1973, this. You can see them waggling there, the back of the control. And then he's trying to navigate, and he's now sort of. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is not that good news. Do you think it might have worked better if they used a 10 year old boy? Okay. They wouldn't, I will come back to that question in, in, in a later stage. There we are. This is a man by the name of Piggott, who, who actually I had once in um, and. He <laughs> <laughs> uh, my God. He's, he's out, that's not so bad. There it is. <laughs> Good sports jacket, I got. Uh, and, and there are the servants. The servants are now at hand to, to, to do this. Oh, it's all right. Bend a bit here and mm. <laughs> not at all. I think Katie had a better idea with his um, willow basket. Yes. Right, here we go again. <laughs> no. Just about decapitating these people there. <laughs> it's called control. Yeah. There we are, got these wheels going nicely. This is interesting. 
Easy, I can control it. Well, not actually too far off. Now that's a bit more like it. That is definitely a bit more like it. But it's a long way. I'll put you on that side, yes. Now, answer to your question why don't we use a railway train? Well, what they are going to do is to do what Keeley did with his servants. He was going to put the thing up to the top of that wee hill and he used to get his full con a lot of servants to pull it as, as high speed as possible. And the higher speed they get, the more chance they're going to have half V squared, whatever it is, in, in, in the area. So they're just going to the top of this hill. This hill is just outside Brompton, about six miles from Scarborough. And they're taking out the... There we are. To the top of the hill. Do you think it's a very educated servant, do you? <laughs> and he did say later in life that no one should ever fly this again. There we are, brother. Two, two groups there. Come on, get going. Come on, come on. You can do better than that. <laughs> there we are. There we are. Oh! <laughs> 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 I've got a head to well, head. not so bad. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go to the <laughs> Excuse me. Yes, ma'am? Does, does Katie say what kind of weather conditions he used to? Well, that, that, I, I, I'm just going to come to that in, 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 in a minute or two. And the, the, answer, the short answer to your question is, is not ideal in some cases. The, the, one, the, the, the air is, this is good, and I'll show you, but no, I won't show you, I'll add one in a minute. But I mean, what you're saying, a lot of the bad things that you've seen may be used, may be done by a wholly inappropriate wind pattern around you. That, that's, that, that's perfectly true. And, and, and that, well, I'll have a joke at some famous person's expense to, to support this point. There we go. Volvos being lifted. No, not, not, that's quite enough. There we go. I think he's enjoying himself. Mm. <laughs> Beautiful. Didn't have a helmet on or anything like that. Extraordinary. <laughs> Health and safety are, are a rare discipline at this stage. Extra one. Mm. Not skiing, I think. For one big wheel now, but it's been through a lot. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh. Now, here we are. This is a, a more recent revival in this. And someone is very excited about what they've just achieved. <laughs> Could you please tell me <laughs> who it was? Yeah. <laughs> Who did you get a glimpse of? Mr. Hansen. 
Richard Branson. The, with help from Richard Branson and money, they built a new version. Uh, it had health and safety in the, in the, in the menu, um, and that made quite a, a difference. Uh, the, um, let's see, the had worries um, over uh, the, 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 the weight of the system. And the thing is that Richard Branson has had probably too many business lunches to be an <laughs> ideal candidate for the flying of this, of this, of this device. Um, but the, the, the device was uh, heavily trialed and it actually was better than the uh, original 1974 version. But, um, you know, that was partly the fact that better meteorological conditions were, particularly on the show, the revival show day, the, 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 they were not ideal at, at all. So all of that has to be factored out of the whole, of the, of the whole system. I mean, the, the modern one should be um, better. They've got, uh, uh, let's think, they, they must uh, have lighter materials as well. I mean, some wonderful bits of material science actually go into that, that whole thing. So anyway, what you have here is the Cayley family, the, the Cayleys that have survived, and that's in that's about 2003, oh, something like that. Now here are the, the Wright brothers, uh, I'm, I'm afraid that Sir George Cayley might just sort of say trade, but anyway, that's... But what, they were actually jolly kind to, 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 to our, our uh, heroes, you see. About 100 years ago, an Englishman, Sir George Cayley, carried the science of flying to a point which it never again, never had reached before, and which is scarcely reached again during the last century. That's pretty good from couples in America. Um, they're not overly generous in acknowledging the achievements of our, of our, of our, of our, our nation. Um, and uh, equally well, there are French quotations uh, about the, 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 the achievements of, of, of Cayley. And of course, here are the, the Wright brothers' uh, first flight um, attempts. The, the main difference between this and what we've been showing you is that the control devices and the steering devices are kept on the other, on, on opposite sides of the, of, the, of the airplane. But that doesn't actually change in tremendous detail on the actual mechanism by, by way which they were, they were working. Where did that go? Well, if you go into the First World War, Sock with cannons. Well, they, 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 they were uh, they were biplanes, and that's mm -hmm. directly a result of of, of, uh, of the, the, the thing that that's being done by um, by, by the British, uh, and this this did overcome the area problem that, uh, that that was so important. Here's a, a good old Yorkshire aircraft, training aircraft, the Blackburn B2. Again, uh, 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 a biplane. Now, count how many trout, folks. How many different kinds of trout have you got there? Rainbow. <laughs> you can have these two, I think, are vampires. They, sorry, if I got that right. Yes, yeah, these two are vampires. This is a meteorite. I think that's a hunter. So, anyway, there we are, strongly related to. Oh man, you can't have flapping in these systems. You can see the wings there. <laughs> <laughs> and there, what we have, I mean, it's one of its, it's converter planes. I mean, we've got a converter plane there, no problem at all. And there are huge aircraft there taking 300 passengers or the like. But now, uh, the, 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 Flight that was done by uh, his George Keeley's servant uh, with great difficulty. He said that he, he didn't, you know, he, he was employed to, to ride and not to 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 um, fly. And he 
we could actually fly Sir George Healy's um, servant for negligible, a negligible sum of money in modern terms. Um, and uh, on the other hand, probably Sir George might well prefer <laughs> to go to, to, to grander and grander things. There again is um, our expensive lunch being ridden around. There is George. Now, we've got this huge big aircraft there. And I think that actually Sir George would prefer to not go in that direction, but to go in the other direction. What we have here is a manned flight. And this is the famous manned flight of cycling across the, 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 the um, channel. And there we go. And what do we have? We've got this, uh, the vast area problem has been more or less solved. Better materials, uh, lighter materials, able to have bigger wings than we were thinking of before. We've got these people are super fit these days. I'm afraid we, we, we do beat the early, 20, early 19th century uh, on, on fitness, of course. So we, we, we roll up a, a jolly, good, jolly good factor there. There is our, there's a, a propeller there, which um, uh, that uh, Keeley didn't particularly like, but, but did in fact accept more or less that he was going in the wrong direction. And he, it's not that clear here, but there, there are um, uh, controlling devices at, at the back in the same way as before. So that, 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 that's a tribute to Keeley. And it's funny that this sort of solo cycling flight, it comes in cycles. But when well, this was done in 1980, people really rather enjoyed it and it had a, you know, a good bit of publicity and then it just disappeared and it seems to have revived again. And, 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 and it's, it's, it's a different sort of way of spending your weekend. But really on the whole, I think, I think very, very, very nice. So in the end, is Sir George Keeley the sort of da Vinci of the... Um, 20th century or the 19th century. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. If, you if you look at the totality of what he did, I mean, it is actually remarkably impressive, but it, uh, a very important thing is he insisted that nothing that he did would be people. Because he, mm -hmm. the, 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 it's humanity was the people who should benefit from what, what he has done. And in that sense, I think we do have a really great tribute to Sir George Keeley. Not many people know about him. Tell them all. Thank you for your attention. <laughs>
Uh, but most of the time, he didn't solve differential equations. Mm. Um, but but, but he, he had this feeling that he should go in that direction or in that direction, mm. and he was usually right. And sometimes he progressed by getting a bit in the middle wrong, but, but, but in fact, it, 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 it all got, got itself washed out. In the, in the badness got washed out at a, at a regular <laughs> interview along the way. And by the fact he could try it then and there. Yeah, and, and, and of course, I mean, he was a great empirical trial. I mean, that's, 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 that's absolutely, absolutely right. Did yes, he pay for airplanes? Sorry? Did he um, do much with um, balloons and offsetting yes. lift with... Um, he, he's not that long before the second stopped to get going. No, no, that's, that's absolutely correct. The answer is, um, there were experiments done um, with balloons, uh, um, and in fact, there was an, the French, no, no, the, the Viennese, who did a very nice, a beautiful experiment. Um, uh, but in fact, actual fact, the, um, burn, the, the um, bit that uh, Keeley did, or that this man did, was involved uh, a track which the balloon, um, like, like a string track, you know, over a long thing, and, and this thing ran down this track, and, and but the, the constraints were there, but, but the additional constraint was that you actually had to follow the track that had been defined by the balloon. So there, there were inter-things, mm -hmm. and the answer is blue, balloons went further than Cayley did. Cayley was a lone wolf. Mm -hmm. uh, on the other hand, the balloon people were actually more organized, and of course, what came out of that was, was, was the set. Mm. So those of you who have heard of Keely before, um, did you recognize it? I wasn't aware that uh, he'd actually done experiments, I was aware that they were designed. Uh -huh. uh, uh -huh. I think it was the graph you about. about. Um, it was it lift and yeah. it just went straight on. Did he just have to work for a windy day or did he have some device for producing? Um, mm. The, the um, whirling arm had this, uh, we go back to the whirling arm at high speed. Oh, we're going directly. That's me to do an aviation. Yeah, this is graph, do you? That's it. Yeah. Yes. He's got the, the two different speeds there. The He's speed got the two there. different speeds. And because, I mean, essentially the mathematics is going to be close to a half v squared multiplied by an area. Yeah. That's, that's very good. If you get the v squared over a corrected, so to a standard v squared over a, mm. you then should get a result, yeah. which is the coefficient of lift resulting yeah. as a function of the, of the angle. Yeah. But I'm just wondering, well, did he have to wait for a windy day to, to do the experiment? Uh, no, um, he didn't have to do that because his paddling arm... Well, go back. There's my paddling arm. And, it, and it's connected to this coil. And remember, I also gave you the slide of this enormously high ceiling there, where, where the, 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 the uh, pulley went up to. And so that it actually fall, fell through quite a large distance. Yes. Um, yes. So you actually ended up with quite a big speed. And it does tell us how big the speed is, eh? Yes. 4.5 meters per second and 6.7 meters per second. Yes. So that's, you know, yes. top of the... Your average semi will not quite manage it, but, but own a mansion and you're there. <laughs> on, on the graph thing, that it continues to increase. That surprises me. I, mean, I, I, I thought that round about between 10 and 15, the thing would begin to. It's a soul, yeah. But I don't understand that. But, but, but I mean, it's not that, that there was a theory of 
that suddenly went awry, and, and uh, you um, uh, that that was then produced or not produced by the no, the, the two agree absolutely perfectly. Right. Um, and and that's, that's, I, I don't I don't under that, understand that fully. You could interpret that as sort of leveling off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those two points. The, the, you could, you could. And, and that wouldn't be, uh, you know, any of them could accommodate that. He's assuming it carries on in fact it's The other, the other thing is, he was a, he was a wonderful note taker in, in, in the laboratory. I mean, just just fantastic sketches that he did of, of different, uh, di di different things. Um, uh, One thing that reminds me of. Oh, sorry. The, um, the Chinese um, have this thing of um, having a man on a ca in a kite sort of thing to um, spy on the enemy. Mm. Yes. Uh, so I, don't, I don't know whether you would have been aware of that. Uh, certainly, uh, that seems to infringe his idea of not killing people in the end. Yes. <laughs> 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 Science. <laughs> Absolutely. But yeah, you, know, you seem to have um, run for a more of a control thing and less, yes. of, the, uh, um, less of the altitude. <laughs> yes, I see. Any more for any more? How about paper aeroplanes? Do they make any paper aeroplanes? They, they, they make paper aeroplanes over, yeah. You can't scale them up mm. easily mm. To, 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 the, to the real thing. Mm. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a it's all, all these, I mean, you know, the pulsion, the mm. stability, the, uh -huh. whatever, the, 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 the drag, and all, all of these sort of combined together. The, that you that you tend to run out of road, except as it's been pointed out here, we shouldn't have run out of road yet up there. Mm. Well, at least they're not running out of road up there, just you and I don't want to mm. fall, fall yeah. around. Mm. But should, should, we, should we make some now and test your theory? <laughs> <laughs> See how big we are. There was that place that there was a place with sort of a lot of concrete. It looked like a runway, but clearly it couldn't have been a runway because it was pre flight days. <laughs> well, I think. Well, I. I, I Yes, ma'am. Going back to the kites, did they, did they actually, I know that there was a kite unit, I think, up until the first World War, we were experimenting with using people to back to kites as spotters for the British Army. Um, was it that's, did they use his, his uh, design and just stick them in the orbit? Um, Do you know anything about the kite? I, I, I know a little about, about the I don't know that the, in the context of the First World War, I'm not I'm not sure. Was about about when they I'm also sure the conditions, you know, mm -hmm. you couldn't really get fast enough at the bottom. Maybe to well, they certainly had them, and they, they mm -hmm. had them up until the airplanes took over. That's, that's why in the first of all, airplanes called kites. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Is that what you call and, and, uh, That's about when I went out. And, well, and uh, the, 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 the 1852 mm -hmm. design is called the, the variable. Carriage. Mm. The, the, well, it's, it, it's got a, a name that suggests it's joining that sort of lot. Yeah. So I, 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 I'm, I'm sorry, I've forgotten the kite story, really. Mm. You, you're actually right, they did use kites, but then airplanes, and, and well, they did blue, but they used just crude balloons, yeah, yeah. and then they, they could, could get a, a, a sort of interdisciplinary. Kicks to it by guiding things and so on and so forth. So they were they were trying beyond basic kites and basic balloons. I've got one more question. Did you uh, you mentioned that these experiments were quite dangerous and one of the servants lost one of their hands? Yes. Do we know how that happened? How oh, I think it's just a standard good old agricultural yeah. event. Right. He, right. But he did cut it straight off at the wrist. <laughs> I'm afraid. But look, it happens out there, no distance from here, um, quite a lot. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, this is Newcastle, not quite so often in Newcastle. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. uh, thank uh, Jim and Matthew again in our usual style. And, uh, thank you for uh, giving us uh, lots of new insight into the history of flight and uh, George Kennedy in particular. Thank you, Jim. Mm -hmm. stuff still remaining <laughs> up top until it's all gone.